Shango recently received a buff. At first glance, it will seem they were just a small buff, but little did we know that this buff will turn into a formidable threat. For a long time, Chang was considered a very mediocre mage, but even then I had a pretty decent success rate when I played her. I think this acceptable win rate is proof of that. Let's go out and the play. Enemy is I used to build Ice Queen 1 first, but after a recent nerf it got, it's better to build it later, probably in the 4th or 5th slot. Remember that once this small creep is about to die, you want to move back so you don't steal the farm from your jungler. I have played Harley a lot, so I know he's not the fastest at clearing the jungle. He helps a lot with the rotation when your allies help you with it. Right from the start, I could tell this was a pretty solid Franco. He was really patient and waited until Kalita used her skill before hooking. I should have just flicker right away. I forgot that means it stuns you when you are fully marked. But it's not too bad of a trade-off, since we got our jungler in return. It was very obvious they were taking the turtle, but since our XP was low and had to recall, there was no way we could contest it. Instead I decided to take advantage of this situation and do what Shango does best, steal the opponent's buff. Unfortunately, it didn't respawn yet, and our gold lane was getting absolutely destroyed. It was too late already, so I went back to execute the original plan. We managed to put a temporary stop on their dominance, but it was very clear that this Melissa is gonna be a huge problem very soon. Our jungler was taking the red buff, which meant there was a chance the red was also up. Nope. Things were not looking too hot for us. It's too late to try to defend bot, so I went for the one who will least expect a gang now. Their Marksman and Roamer are starting to rotate together. We were on the back foot at this point, so if we were to clash, we definitely had the disadvantage. There was no way we could contest the turtle once again, so just like a moment ago, I went to steal their buff again. I saw her Harley following me, so I thought together we could intercept their marksman.
their Karina was pretty on their farm because she kept getting her buffs stolen. And most of you probably already know, assassins like her really need to farm well in the early game so they can one shot and snowball from there. If we could keep doing the same thing, we wouldn't need to be too worried about getting one shotted by her, which is a huge relief, especially since we have so many squishies in our team. I'll be honest, I will hate being the jungler and there's such a Chango in the opposite team. I knew there was no way we'll have done anything to their marksmen here. Oof, Kalita messed up her combo so badly there. This Melissa though. Always a blessing having a smart roamer on your side. These little victories add up in the long run. The reason why I kept shooting this bush is because I knew Kalita was there. Chang'o's damage is absolutely nuts right now. We had a huge problem at hand. We needed to counter their lifesteal, and they got another hero with tons of spell vamp, so I decided to delay the ice cream one for the necklace of endurance. I was thinking that probably in the late game I will sell either genius one or the boot for divine glaive.
At least that really hurts now. Quick tip, you can actually use her first skill to check the bushes. When you hit someone, it will reveal their HP bar. Actually, I only learned that just recently. This was not looking good at all. You son really wanted my nuts, so I thought it was time for some payback. I wanted to get a better angle to see if I could kill Melissa. I knew the moment she sees me. She will straight go for me, so I decide to preemptively activate my ult. Damn, I did not expect that he would turn around. It might seem obvious, but sometimes it's not a bad idea to remind your allies who is the main priority. That was probably the most crucial kill in the game. Forget about the Lord, we had a very good opportunity to end the game here. Retreat. 
It's very clear after this match that Chang U is a very solid match right now, especially because Lolita is not what we thought she would be when they first announced her revamp. But I definitely cannot take all the credit here because our Romer was great as well. Some might think that because he had a 0-1 KDA, he did poorly, but as a Romer, what really matters is the assist. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See ya.